Hi guys, this is Cora. Uh, today we're going to do propagation. We're gonna propagate some plants uh, with moss, with sphagnum moss. And so we're going around in my living room to see what we could clip or what we could cut to propagate and put it in sphagnum moss. So let's go and let's get started, guys. There you go. I put this um, camera here and we're going to propagate this um, giant Hawaiian photos. So we're going to trim a node here. There you go, guys. This is my giant Hawaiian photos. I don't know if you see. If you see that. Um, that's how big this one is. So this one is one. And we're going to put that on a stagno moss, maybe. Uh, we'll see. And let's look for more. We're going with this one. All right. And this one. Okay, that's for that. And what else are we gonna do? Oh, I know what we're gonna do. Let's cut some of this one. I'll put the camera down here. I don't know if you can see me. Right there. Okay. Let's cut some of this because it's kind of long. Got that one and leave that one on. Got that. What else do we need to cut? I know I have one more here. This one we need to cut. There you go. That's two. And what else? Oh, I know what we could cut. Let's go that in my dining room. In my dining room. Let's cut some of Let's cut some of. Philodendron, Pedatum, and this one is kind of big, but I don't know where this one is. Let's see. I want this big leaves. This big leaves. Yes, we'll cut this big leaves. What that one? Yes, this guys, we are propagating it. They are this on our big leaves. I have one that's also a big leaves from my Brazil. And let's see if the Brazil has big leaves to cut. Uh, they are smaller leaves but that's okay, I think. Oh, I know where I'm cutting more. We're cutting some of this. Jade 
pathos. We're cutting some jade pathos. So I'm gonna cut right over here. And so this, how long I'm getting it. That's one. And I know I have to cut one more jade photos in here, guys. Because this one, I just wrap it around and because it it's too long. Sorry. All right. There you go. This is the jade photos we're cutting. Over here. Right there. And leave that hanging down. Right there, and this is, I don't want to trim this one because I want them long. That way I could put it up. And by the way guys, look at my Marble Queen. I trail it to my entertainment center. And also my Cebu Blue, I also let it trail. So my entertainment center and here's my monstera thai constellation that i just purchased uh two weeks ago and hopefully they survive and i think the, it's rooting new growth in the bottom but i'm waiting to see if it's gonna grow uh another um like i'm waiting for the growth to show up and the stem right there but nothing's going on yet so i'll be patient i'll be patient so i think and oh and also this um aglonema i think this is a valentine or something like that i'm not sure valentine red or this one is keep producing babies guys look there's three babies in the bottom but i don't want to separate it until it's rooted out then i'll split them up but right now i don't want to disturb it in this pot because it's really beautiful and also my um, my monstera adesoniae adesoniae it's growing when i got this it's so sad because i don't know like their leaves is not right and this one so i sprayed it with neem oil and so it perks up so whatever that was in here uh, bugs or uh, fungus gnats or something and now it perks up so i'm so excited this one is this is the large form the one that we cut the first uh, mancera adesonia those are the smaller form they're just like little vines this one is the large one and the leaf it's bigger than it must be like six inches or something like that and it's probably hold, hold on let me show you see this is my hand and look it's almost the size of my hand almost the size of my hand guys my hand is just short and if I go toward the stem it passed my arm or my um, ankle or whatever it is the joint on my arm so this one Sarah is really big on 
by the way guys we're also gonna get some micans this is my micans i let them trail also to uh my entertainment center and i want to chop one of this branch because i have four of them hanging so I would like to cut one. So let's cut this one. There you go. We cut this one, guys. This one is going to be propagated and it looks healthy. And so let's go to my kitchen table because uh, I don't worry about my box guys that box is going ship to ship to the Philippines and here we go we're going to propagate all my cutting to this stagno moss that I already prepared there you go guys that's my stagno moss in this box that I already prepared so this is how it looks like this is how it look and I have three of them so there's three of them I'm not sure if there's I might have to add water in here so there's three in the box so I'm going to put the camera here, guys. That way you guys can see me. That's it. You guys can see me propagating. Alright, guys. First, we're going to propagate the micans. This is the micans I'm going to cut in here.
this box is gonna be my Kent and Monstera Patagonia. This box is ruby. Bring it in closer. There you go, guys. That's how I propagate my uh, Adansonia, Monstera Adansonia, and my tents. So this, I by the way, this is the first sign I'm doing it. Usually, I'm doing it in water, and so this time I'm doing this and stuck no moss in the box and then I close this now it's closed it's it's I don't need a hole on it because this is really not sealed so it's just enough for them to get humidity in there and I'm going to do the second that's the first one now let's do the second one. I'm going to do the jade, guys. I'm going to do the jade plants, jade petals in here. So, cut that. Cut that. like that. You just plant it in a stagno moss and just keep chipping it if it's growing. If the roots is growing and healthy. Let's do this. I don't have water on this thing so 
I don't even want to cover it yet. And now we're going to the next one. This is my um, philodendron gradum or heart leaf philodendron. Look how big the leaves is. This is how I like it. Usually I just plant the whole thing and goes up like that, but then you only have one vine. I need more vines, so I'm going to cut this a uh, few times. So I'm going to cut this here. I'm going to cut this here. I don't need this. I'll give you guys an update after a few weeks because this one should grow roots. Now let's go and do this. This is my giant Hawaiian photos. And I like it to do this here. Hopefully they'll grow a nice root. And then let's plant the rest. Yes. 
some water and we're spraying. that we made. Alright, I'm going to bring you with me. There you go. the Mykons and the Monstera Adansonia and that's how I propagate so I'll give you guys an update next time this if this one get roots and I'll show it to you guys and then I'll show you also on transferring it to plant and um, soil all right, guys, thanks for watching, and I see you in my next video. Bye-bye.